BlackBerry, the tech revolution that almost made a comeback. In an era before touchscreens and social media ruled our lives, there existed a device that commanded our attention like no other. It was a time when the world was defined not by swipes and likes, but by the satisfying click-clack of physical keys and the elegance of simplicity. Today, we invite you to step back in time and immerse yourself in the mesmerizing tale of BlackBerry a device that rose to prominence, shaping the way we communicated, only to experience a dramatic fall from grace. But dear viewer, hold on to your seats, for as we delve into the past, we shall also cast our gaze towards the future. Stay with us until the end, as we explore why director Matt Johnson believes that the Blackberry may be poised for a triumphant return. Join us in the forthcoming comedy biopic, Blackberry, a cinematic masterpiece featuring the exceptional talents of Jay Barrichell, Glenn Howerton, and directed by the visionary Matt Johnson. Together, we will journey back to the late 90s and early 2000s, a time when the world was undergoing a profound transformation, a shift from an analog realm to a bold new digital frontier. Matt Johnson, the director of the film, hails from the very region where Blackberry's journey began. His fascination with Blackberry's historical timeline led him to craft a compelling narrative that will take you on a nostalgia-fueled journey. A film about the late 90s, early 2000s shift from a more analog world to a more digital world. Our story unfolds in 1996 at the tech firm Research in Motion, where a group of engineers, blissfully unaware of the impact they're about to make, set the stage for a technological revolution. Mike Lazaridis, portrayed by Jay Barrichell and his friend Douglas Fregin, played by Matt Johnson, conceive an audacious idea for a phone that could handle email but the road to success is paved with challenges they never anticipated. Enter Jim Balsilli, portrayed by Glenn Howerton, a ruthlessly opportunistic figure who sees the untapped potential in their idea and becomes co-CEO, sealing a game-changing deal with a US telecoms giant. BlackBerry was more than just a phone. It was a symbol of productivity and innovation, the first device in 1999 boasted email and two-way paging, sporting a physical keyboard and a modest monochrome display. By 2002, BlackBerry had become the go-to choice for business professionals, offering calls, texts and internet browsing in a single, sleek package. But it wasn't until 2005, with the launch of BlackBerry Messenger, that it truly penetrated the mainstream bringing encrypted messaging to the masses, much like WhatsApp today. The world was captivated by the ability to communicate on the go, so much so that Crackberry was declared the word of the year by Webster's Dictionary in 2006. It became the smartphone of choice for millions, endorsed by celebrities and even the President of the United States. However, in 2007, a disruptor arrived on the scene, the iPhone. The world was about to witness another seismic shift in the tech landscape. Steve Jobs famously ridiculed BlackBerry's reliance on a physical keyboard during the iPhone's grand unveiling. Director Matt Johnson believes it wasn't the iPhone itself that marked BlackBerry's downfall, but rather how the company reacted to the competition. It had more to do with the vision of a company like Apple compared to reality in motion. BlackBerry's response came in the form of the BlackBerry storm in 2008, but it was marred by touchscreen issues that proved costly for Verizon. BlackBerry found itself on the defensive, struggling to redefine its identity as Apple's iPhone gained overwhelming popularity. 
BlackBerry still retained its loyal users, even hosting a visit by Queen Elizabeth II to its headquarters in 2010. However, it had lost its status as a symbol of success. In 2016, BlackBerry made a strategic pivot, ceasing phone production to focus on a software security business. It began licensing its name to other manufacturers. The last hurrah came in the form of the BlackBerry Key2 Elite in 2018, a far cry from the original vision. Yet, in a curious twist, nostalgia-driven dumb phones have seen a resurgence. These devices offer an escape from the constant barrage of social media reminiscent of simpler times. Newcomers like the Light Phone have even embraced the less is more philosophy, focusing solely on calls and texts. Director Matt Johnson ponders the idea that if BlackBerry had returned to its original philosophy, it might have found renewed success in this modern age. I think if BlackBerry had reverted to that philosophy, they might have found success. In the ever-evolving world of technology, no company can afford to rest on its laurels. BlackBerry's story serves as a cautionary tale and a reminder that the future can change in the blink of an eye. BlackBerry releases in UK and Irish cinemas on October 6th, 2023. Join us for this nostalgic trip down memory lane and explore why BlackBerry might just be poised for a triumphant return. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary journey through the annals of tech history as we explored the riveting rise and fall of BlackBerry. As we wrap up this chapter, we invite you to stay connected with us on Digital Days, your window to the latest technology news, trends, and innovations that shape our world. If you hunger for more tech insights and captivating discussions, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you're always in the loop when we drop our next episode. We'll be here uncovering the mysteries of the digital frontier one story at a time.